Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Fly Racing Dirt Formula helmet available at RevZilla.com. So if you're taking a look at this video, the helmet you're gonna see in front of me is the Dirt Formula helmet from Fly Racing. And really the biggest critique that I think people are gonna load up in the comments section below is the fact that this helmet is $650. Now, I say that because up until this point, Fly Racing hasn't really released a helmet over that $350 mark. So this is a big jump for them. But really, as I break this down, I want you to just forget about the price for a second and look at the innovation that Fly is bringing to the table. Now I say that, but there is a lot of competition within this $650 realm in the dirt segment. We're seeing a lot of innovation. I mean, just in the past year, we've seen Climb introduce their Coroid system. Showey has a whole new EPS liner that protects against rotational impact. And Alpine Star has released their first dirt helmet ever. And that was packed with innovation as well. So Fly is now making their stamp on the premium dirt world and as we break this down we're going to see a lot of technology within this helmet that no one else has brought to the table yet so please go into this with an open mind and just look at the facts that we're going to break down so the first thing you want to notice is it is going to be 12k carbon now if you're looking at this helmet you're seeing a couple bunch of scratches and marks that's because we actually have been riding in this one but i wanted to showcase the actual carbon color so you could see the carbon fiber on this if you look at the white one same helmet just done in white but you can't see the carbon fiber. So just ignore the little marks. Your helmet will not show up like that. That's because we've been abusing this one off-road. Now, three different shell sizes are available and the breakdown will be extra small to small for the first shell size, medium to large for the second shell size, and then extra large up to two extra large for the third shell size. Four EPS liners, we threw this on the scale, came in at two pounds, 13 ounces in a medium. Very lightweight design. Again, that's part of what we're seeing with this big step up from Fly. Extremely lightweight, intermediate oval head shape, a little bit longer front to back, narrow down the side of the head, fits true to size. There should be no surprises when you're wearing this. I wear pretty much an extra large across the board. Extra large is where I fit in this helmet. Now, what you're gonna see from the innovation standpoint, first of all, take a look at the peak. So the peak on this is gonna be a nylon peak. Very flexible, moves around, and it works to kind of bend with you without breaking off. So some of the problems that we've seen from some of the helmets out there that are utilizing um, the magnetic connections or the break off points is they break off and they're gone. This is designed to really kind of stay with you, but to flex and move so it absorbs that impact without you know kind of causing you disruption. If it does pull off, one of the things to know here is that it's not gonna be a quick release snap back on. You have these screws on the side, and once it pulls off, you'll actually have to screw this back on, but it's gonna be in a kind of a riveted design that's designed to pull away so it breaks away easy. You then pull the screw off and then screw it back into place. So innovative design when it comes to just the peak on this. So you are still getting that breakaway technology, but it's designed to, uh, to stay with you because you'll notice that the point up front is not gonna be breakaway. If that point breaks off, it will break off completely and then you'll have to replace the peak, which is okay because you're getting a second one included with the helmet. So just an innovative approach compared to what we're seeing from some other people. Everybody's got a different idea of what works for them. Um, this is gonna be Fly's take on the breakaway peak. 14 intake vents, so mass amount of ventilation we're seeing with this. You're also seeing up along the brow, you get this diffusion system, so it actually helps to kind of cause a little bit of turbulence to the air as it pushes through, which helps the air flow through the helmet quicker. You're gonna see massive cutouts down along the chin. And again, even as I'm holding this, I can't get over how light this helmet is from Fly. Moving around to the back, what you're gonna notice on the back is you have this little blue logo called Rion. And if you've been watching this video thus far, you're probably looking at this and thinking, Spurge, there's nothing that you've talked about so far that really stands out to me as impressive enough to justify a $650 price. This kind of looks like a lot of the other helmets that we're seeing on the market. Well, that little Rion logo is really what's gonna set this helmet apart. And to kind of dive into that, we need to take a look at the inside of the helmet. So taking a look at the inside of the helmet, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the cheek pads out. Now, the nitpick that I do have here is that they're not quick eject cheek pads and they're very basic in their design. There's nothing that's gonna be super impressive from the interior. There are, they are antimicrobial. Uh, they're rather comfortable, you know, but really um, they're not as comfortable as what we're seeing from some of the other manufacturers out there. So very basic interior. That's probably my biggest nitpick for the helmet itself. But once we get past the interior, we just pull this out 
And again, this is where you start to see it a little bit different. You start to see this kind of like a honeycomb look to it, and you have these extra layers of foam on the back. So that's a little bit different. You're also gonna notice that the way that this mounts in, it actually adds a little bit of rotational flex to the liner itself. So you can actually have the liner introducing a little bit of rotational protection. So that's the first part that starts to set the fly apart. Now let's take a look at these seven blue rings that you're gonna see on the inside here. So this is Rion. And Rion is a viscoelastic material that has been developed within fly to really help to absorb impact protection. Now in addition to the, the, uh, those seven little Rion tabs, you also notice little white flecks within the EPS liner. So the EPS liner is gonna be their cone head technology. We've seen this in some other manufacturers, but really what this is doing is you have two different densities to the EPS liner. The gray material on the inside is gonna be a softer uh, material for lower speed impacts. And those little white flecks is a heavier density EPS, which is gonna be absorbing in a slower rate. So as you begin to get a higher speed impact, that begins to absorb and absorb into what is gonna be the second EPS liner on the outside, which is gonna be the high speed impact protection. And you're gonna notice it, we've got this really cool little graphic from Fly where it shows those cones as they work through, but those little white flecks there are just the tips of the cones working into that interior EPS. So the biggest part of the technology is this viscoelastic material. In addition to the way that this absorbs the impact, it also has rotational flex built in. So these little pads, and actually I have one right here, <clears throat> they have this little amount of flex to it. So as it begins to, you know, you hit the head, it will just actually allow your head to rotate and flex on the inside of this, which helps to reduce concussions in low speed rotational force. So the fact that we're seeing another completely new approach from fly to low speed protection is gonna be the biggest innovation here. You're also gonna notice those deep channeled cutouts, which allow for promoting airflow. So again, extremely ventilated helmet. The final note here, as I'm just kind of holding this up, is that you're also gonna have EPP at the chin bar. So you're gonna have a protective chin bar with this as well, and that EPP is that softer, lower speed uh, impact protection material, which really helps to absorb impacts that are taken if you crash on your face. Nobody wants to crash, especially on their face, but if you do, you know, that's just another additional important feature. So from the outside, doesn't look like it's anything different from some of the other manufacturers we've seen. In fact, my second real nitpick here is that I think one of the biggest you know, detriments to this is that if you're looking at it in the base form, it just looks like a plastic helmet. And it doesn't look as you know, flashy as some of the other high-end helmets that we've seen out there in that $650, $700 price point. But from a protection standpoint, it is one of the more innovative helmets that we've seen so far in 2018 into 2019. And I think this is really gonna be leading a charge for a lot of people. Now, I do think that there will be some criticism in the comment section about the fact that this is coming in around that $650 price point but it is gonna be one of the more innovative helmets that we've seen of the year, and I'm really excited to see what riders out there are thinking of this. I've been riding in it, uh, you know, some of my friends have been riding in it. Very, very impressive piece from Fly um, compared to what we've seen them do in the past, and especially when you consider what it's going up against. That being said, there's a lot of other people out there that are riding in this too, and if you wanna hear what they have to say, now is when you wanna click the little info button on your desktop or mobile device. That's gonna allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there using this helmet on their motorcycles. If you have additional questions as to which helmet is right for you and your riding style, you can always give a shout out to one of our gear geeks, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Fly Racing Dirt Formula Helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>